Our lesson today is titled On Honouring the Gifts from God Within All Those We Know. The Gospel said, No prophet is accepted in his or her native place. They can work their miracles everywhere else because there is faith in them. But where they grow up, they will forever be the carpenter's son. Joseph's son, Mary's oldest boy, but never identified for their gifts. This is true of each of us as well, here in this generation, in this time. When we see those we knew growing up, if they have exceeded our beliefs of them, or of their place in society, their accomplishments will not be accepted. Their gifts will be laughed at. Even though they be highly lauded around the world, never in their own town are their accomplishments or gifts ever truly accepted, but openly laughed at and about. Mike became an astronaut. Oh, hell, he's always been a space oddity. One of my classmates is an astronaut. Ha, 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 ground control to Major Mike. Do you have your helmet on? Remember how he forgot his backpack everywhere? He'd have forgotten his head if it hadn't been attached. These are actual comments that were made to a reporter of one of the Apollo astronauts. Identical, 27 years later, regarding the commander of the Space Shuttle Enterprise. Also nearly identical to my classmate. Though we are on Facebook, we are still in our hometowns. And many of your childhood friends cast doubts and even aspersions on the gifts you've either developed or allowed to come out since last you saw these people. It is only the people of your new communities, those whom you've met in or after college, once you were an adult that accept you fully gifted, fully developed, as it were. And some of us have gifts still, still developing, strengthening every day. And we only show these to a select few, those we know who will believe. Now look at your circle of true friends. Look to name the gifts of each this week. The gifts given them by God. Born with and developed over their lifetime. Like intelligence, beauty, a sweet personality, a wonderful parent, a great leader of people. Versus gifts they've created and developed as they grown up, often out of the other gifts, professions from degrees out of their intelligence and personality. A business based on their personality and baking acumen, built up over years of being everyone's go-to caterer. Honor those gifts, whether given by God or developed by the hard work of the individual. No gift is unworthy. No skill is unnecessary. Who would have known 20 years ago when I started on this little goof of a weather model process and refined it each year as a gambling process 
that this was a gift of God. This was a savant-like skill that he was giving to me that I would then use to predict Harvey five days ahead with 98.79% accuracy, Irma seven days ahead with 99.99% .99 accuracy, and then I just handed it to Noah, the Hurricane Prote Prediction Center, and the Severe Storm Prediction Center. Four years later now, they're finally learning how to use it. Who knew, as you tinkered with computers in your garage or basement in high school, that this gift was of God, you had to slowly grow into test your wings as such. Then one day all would snap together in your mind. All the previous work, all the classes, and you were suddenly the person to see about any issue with a computer, hardware, or software. You worked out the hardware side, but God gave you the light on the software. For you never liked book learning. Honour your gifts and honour those in others around you this month of March. Notice their skills. See and hear their gifts. Intuit their skills when you see their children. For you know when there are children, there are great, great gifts involved. Never again, when you see a friend or someone you knew from childhood, will you ever say, ground control to Major Mike, or any such aspersion. For you know they are of God.